Okay, for number eight, it's going to ask to verify the identity. Okay, now verifying the identity means that you want to put some identities in here, work out both sides to where one side equals the other. There may be more than one way of doing these, t these type of problems. I'm going to show you one particular way that you can do it, but it may not be the only answer. I look at every single test individually and I look to see if the math is correct. And as long as it turns out to where both sides are equal and it was done mathematically correct, then that's fine. You might get a different result than I have. You might have both sides equal cosecant or both sides equal one over sine equals one over sine. Doesn't matter, that's fine. As long as both sides are equal uh, and it was done correctly, then uh, you'll get the full credit uh, for that one. You want to make sure you show your steps each time. You don't want to skip steps uh, on this because I want to make sure it's clear so I know which direction that you're going in. Uh, and so if you have some work that's not correct, but then all of a sudden magically we get cosecant equals cosecant, um, but it wasn't done correctly, then there's, there are going to be points taken off even though you put cosecant equals cosecant. Everything has to be correct. So your answer is actually how you got from one side to the other, and you got to support your answer each time with each of the steps. Now you don't have to label your steps, you don't have to put I used a Pythagorean identity or I used quotient or something like that. You don't have to label your steps when you do that here. You can just go ahead and write the steps out and as long as it's done correctly then that's fine. Uh, with these kind of problems, there's different strategies that you can try and do. The first strategy would be to change everything into sines and cosines. So that's going to be the first step that I'm going to do. Okay, so if I'm going to start with, I have cosine. I'm going to put the identity in for cotangents. Again, these identities that I'm using here, you want to make sure you know them. So that's going to be your quotient identities and your reciprocal identities. Those are the ones you want to know. Uh, so cosine, cotangent is cosine over sine. So we're going to begin with that one. And then I have plus sine x. I'm going to change this into 1 over sine x. Okay, so now I've, I've changed everything into sines and cosines. Now the next thing I noticed here is I have, now that I've put the identity in, now I have a fraction. When I put this together, I'm going to get cosine squared over sine x. But then I have another fraction, uh, I have a sine x, and this is like sine x over 1. So another strategy would be to get common denominators. So I'm going to put this together, and we're going to get cosine squared x over sine x. Now I have sine x over 1. But I want to get common denominators with this, so I'm going to take this one and multiply top and bottom by sine x, just like that. Okay. This way I'll get the denominators are going to match. Uh, now on top, when I, I add the fractions together, I can put these over one denominator of sine x. On top I get cosine squared x plus sine squared x. Okay, so uh, I've combined them together, and as you go through, you should be looking for, there's a certain identity that pops up that you can put something in for. You want to look for that, and that's how we're actually going to finish this problem. We've got cosine squared plus sine squared. Uh, that's, this whole thing uh, is equal to 1. So I'm going to replace all this and put in a 1, and then I get 1 over sine x equals 1 over sine x. So I get both sides are going to be equal. So again, I just took out, took out all this replace it with a 1, and then I got both sides equal. Uh, you never want to add something over the other side or cross anything over. You don't want to do anything with the equal sign. You're going to treat both sides as two separate problems. So you work one side all the way down, and sometimes you may have to work the other side until both sides are equal. In this case, we're able to do majority of our work all on the left-hand side, and we ended up with two sides equal.